we are just a few weeks into the revival of cities event and this is probably the most fun i have ever had in infinity kingdom what's going on guys cheers welcome back to server 136 the revival of cities event and guys so much has gone down that i don't even know where to begin now look as a reminder you know we are a couple weeks in but you guys can still join us here in the event if you guys want to play with me wick gaming clash bashing some of the other cool content creators and everybody in the server go ahead and download infinity kingdom with the link down below and create a character in server 136 my alliance is pretty tight right now on members but you can always join the green factor action and just power up and then once you're good then we bring you on board but today I'm gonna give you guys an update on my Alliance my account progress here in Infinity Kingdom for this server I also want to follow up with some Immortals that I think you guys should be focusing on because a lot of players I've been playing with have had some questions so we're gonna start with the Alliance okay Infinity Warriors and a ton has changed with our Alliance so far the biggest one being that we are now in the green faction of Vitas honestly I did not expect to change factions in this server especially not so early on in the event but look after just a couple of weeks it seemed like the writing was on the wall I mean if you go through the top uh, power players the top 20 one of them is in red only a single one of them and even before we left the red faction of Ruslan there was only two red members in the top 20 so it's not like you know we left and now everybody is green or blue like no this was already the direction the server was going and we felt that it was sort of you know we had no choice if we stayed red we would have been some of the only players that stayed red and every other faction would have had really massive whales super powerful players guys i gotta say the the if you look at the top power players a lot of the Japanese players here in the server are just crushing it. They are loving Infinity Kingdom. This is obviously their first time they're getting their hands on the game and they're just going crazy. And I love to see it. And you can see when you scroll through here, there's players from all different countries in this game, which is super cool. We've got United States. We've got Italy. We've got Russia. We've got we got Chinese players. Everyone is here. Okay. Everyone is in this server, which is really cool. So if you, if you're thinking about joining, go ahead and do it. Okay. I'm 34th ranked by power. So I'm feeling a little bit small, especially compared to some of our other friends on here. Okay. We've got clash bashing, absolutely dominating. We've got wick gaming up here, just crushing it. So yeah, we've got some good friends here, but guys, we, we had to switch. Okay. We had to go green. Uh, if you take a look at the map here, okay, let me just pull this up. There's a lot of green and there's a lot of blue. And before the capitals, uh, the level five capitals, opened yesterday there was even more blue than you saw now and because we had that choice of should we go blue or should we go green we thought it would be more fun and more entertaining for you guys and for me playing if we went green and sort of balanced out the power right because blue was so dominant uh that we figured hey maybe if we back up green then we'll have a really solid chance at taking a lot of these cities and i think we are we have a really solid uh chance right now when we are fighting tooth and nail uh there's a lot of vip 15 players in in the blue faction so uh we definitely have our work cut out for us but um that sort of explains why we had to change factions so if you guys are joining infinity kingdom in the server go with green and like look i know that maybe you know even if the top 20 players you know even if we don't have any red in here you might be thinking well as long as red has numbers right but that's not really how it works and, and we've seen players firsthand like I have seen Lord single-handedly defend cities and this was maybe about a week ago but we would be trying to take a city Lord teleports in he puts one of his armies in the garrison and his other armies start clearing out the enemies and that's it an entire Alliance could not take a city because Lord would just put his troops in the garrison and that's it nobody could defeat it right and that's sort of where you know you do need to have a few whales on your side uh if you want to perform on a kingdom level right sure you can have a solid alliance and a group of players but if you want to compete with the kingdom you got to have some whales and that's why you know the top 20 uh, lord power is like huge right and even if we go into top 30 right even top 40 where is the number two red player it's it's worthy knight right like th this that's another content creator right let's see yeah he's he's number two that's crazy so anyway the alliance is still going strong okay we basically when we changed factions we just went in and captured all the cities that our old shell of an alliance was holding obviously nobody defended it because no one was in the alliance anymore so right now we have a, a level five city 
three level four cities a single level three city and we had another city that we took last night we lost it to chn uh, i'm sure we'll all be talking about those those guys in a later video so stay tuned with that but yeah things aren't looking too bad right now uh definitely a very few red left on the map but it is what it is as far as my account goes um right now i'm upgrading to castle level 27 and i'm basically pushing for tier four units as fast as i can uh it gets very expensive in the higher ends of the 20 so 25 to 30 it starts to get really expensive for the castle upgrades really expensive for the for the barrack upgrades right and so I'm pushing for d4 and again it's because we have so many really powerful players on the server that I feel like I have to get that t4 mark in order to compete with these guys they're just so powerful and if I if I'm still using tier three units in a week or so uh, I just feel like I'm not going to be able to compete so um whereas the first week or so I was focused on just getting immortals now I've shifted gears to focusing on troops and technology and uh, the tower of knowledge and all of this is going to come in handy because stage one of this event for the revival of cities isn't even over yet okay so we know that the biggest fights are still yet to come uh, and even still we're only just now in our first uh, kill event for contention of lords so there's gonna be plenty more fighting it's barely even begun uh and so that is why right now we are going straight for t4 now last time i showed you guys my immortals i was saying that i was just on the brink of switching from water to earth and we have officially made that switch obviously we have maxed out alexander the great's skills today uh we finished cleopatra i think yesterday or the day before we finished zenobia first and we're still uh waiting on charles we're still quite a bit away unfortunately from charles his bundle is no longer in the shop for us although i do think he will come back eventually so we'll be able to finish him at some point really what i'm missing most about charles isn't it's not even this last skill it's that i want another tower of knowledge skill on him i want to add more beefiness more chunkiness to that defense um so it is what it is we've completely switched over to uh to earth we do have to do some more gnome killing uh, i gotta get the levels up on these back row for their equipment but other than that we're pretty good um our second march is still water uh we have no skills on them 39k is pretty good for this server right now as far as a second march goes from what i can see so i'm happy with that I'm, I'm all about it uh and then right now we're focusing and i've decided i'm gonna go lightning as my third army um I, I was planning on doing fire and i even finished the skills on ashoka but i ended up um reborning him and bringing him up to five skills instead because i think that it's, it's more important right now to focus on lightning and then focus on fire afterwards because i think a lot of players have went all in on earth and if i can get lightning that'll give me just another one up on those players so that's going to be really good um we're waiting for basically genghis khan to come around and uh hopefully i can get more peter the great and um you know just a lot more lightning front row would be excellent as for tower of knowledge um i've gone for a couple of the early game purple skills here um i just i know that you know you really want to focus on like the burn uh, fire nova and toxic nova and all those stuff i know that those are really really good um it's just for right now i feel like these early game purples are going to be okay for me um so i'm focusing on those at the moment concentration this is always going to be useful even if it's not on my main march it'll be fine uh, on a second or third uh, third march um i feel like chase is really solid along with chaotic blade um magical shield i i don't know it's it's fine um i i put it right now i think on my either my Zeno, yeah zenobia because she just feels a little bit too squishy um we went with a combo here for my alexander just dealing some nice physical damage in the front row and then we just have some of the weaker stuff down here we get some extra healing on zenobia dude she i was seeing her in the well of time she just doesn't die she just doesn't die you she gets so low and then she just keeps healing and then she has grace on there so where she keeps healing it's crazy so i love it there's some cool synergy there are those the best skills definitely not but it's what i'm working with right now in the relatively early game now i want to give you guys some tips here on your immortals in which ones you should be focusing on okay if you look in the notice board here our requirement is at least 22,000 strongest true power or stp for short uh you can find out your true power by just tapping troops and it tells you the number right here so my my, my strongest true power is 61,845 it doesn't take into account the other marches here because it's the strongest of your one army your your strongest possible army so that's what that's a measure of and i think that's a better measure of how effective a player is at fighting than total power total power doesn't tell you that much other than how far you've progressed into leveling up buildings and stuff like that um so it is what it is also you may have like spread your power out across a ton of immortals and that's not as useful when it comes to like defeating garrisons and things like that so 
anyway strongest true power is a huge component and measurement of how effective a player is going to be and the way that you get a high strongest true power is focusing is focusing all of your materials and all of your experience and all of your equipment into a single army now I have not been following this rule. Obviously, you can see I've got plenty of skills on my water march here. I've got Med B. I've spread a little bit thin with fire and lightning. So you don't want to be playing the way that I'm playing, okay? Especially if you are a free to play player or a low spender um, and even some mid spenders, you really just want to focus all in on one march. So one thing I've seen players discuss is which immortal should I, should I be picking and which epic immortals should I, should I be replacing elite immortals with? And that's a big topic of discussion in our alliance and in many other places as well so a classic example is yoshitsune and helen of troy okay helen of troy with the beginning of the server you can max her out relatively easy as a free-to-play player and it's all good and the good news is she has synergy with uh with merlin so if you guys end up purchasing merlin they go great together in the back row she's got that chill effect it's only an eight percent chance but it's very very nice and overall she's got aoe she's great okay players were discussing when should you replace Helen of Troy with Yoshitsune right Yoshitsune is a higher rarity immortal he is back row he's water so what gives when should you replace one with the other now you can do some testing yourself and you can decide you know which one is dealing more damage in the well of time or versus a gnome or versus another player and you can come to the conclusion on your own I would say as a rule of thumb I would say the rule of thumb is when you get a epic immortal to five stars or higher that's when you can replace a maxed out elite so when Yoshi hits five stars that's when you can replace Helen of Troy in the back row with Yoshi now of course you will want to have uh at least the same level of a boost here a, a boost level on your immortal you'll want to have a decent amount of equipment for that immortal and uh, you know so on and so forth but strictly from a skill perspective uh, that's what you want to do one of the primary reasons for this and it's not just an arbitrary number but when an epic immortal hits five stars that's when they get their second skill which is how many skills an elite has at max level so you're not sacrificing any skill slots once they hit five and then once they hit seven you get an additional one which is huge so that's one of the biggest things for your main march is you don't want to have fewer total skills across all of them and you can see here i filled out all the available skills i have because that just makes that one March really beefy. Now, the next question is which attribute should you be focusing on, right? Because generally players pick up pretty quickly that they should build their troops or their armies around a single attribute, right? You go water, you go earth, you go lightning. And a lot of players are wondering like, which one is the best, right? And of course there is no best. And that's the whole point of the attribute system is that one always beats another except for holy, which obviously is like one of the hardest to get. And that's makes a ton of sense. And I would say the ones that you should focus on depends on your investment level right are you a free-to-play player are you a low spender mid spender are you a mega whale okay that will determine which ones you should focus on because i gotta say if you are a free-to-play player and you go all in on let's say wind for example your account progression is going to be much slower than if you went all in on water and the faster you progress your account it's sort of like an exponential curve and you're going to get a lot of return on investment especially in an event like this where it's timed right it's, it's a short time frame so for free-to-play players i have two attributes you should focus on in the early game it should be water it's a no-brainer you want to go water uh that's because you're going to be able to get Harold for free you're going to be able to get Yoshi for free you're going to be able to get Brynhild and Helen of Troy for free and so all of those uh, are going to be your best immortals that you can focus on of course if you do spend a dollar or two you can get Merlin who is exceptional in the back row and then if you get Attila or Ramses great you can put them in the front row as well but as a free to play player um you have a great setup for early game with the immortals that I mentioned after you've finished water meaning you've maxed out their level you've maxed out all their skills you filled out all of their tower of knowledge slots and there's just nothing else you can do with them their dragon is a high level it's it's looking like they're done right after that's the case um or you know maybe even a little bit sooner you could start to focus on what i would recommend next which is fire i think fire is really great for free to play players because you have so many options here that are that are free you don't have to spend on anything okay you have hippolyta and i'm sorry if i mispronounced that i love her eyes they're so blue oh my god um you have frederick in the front row those are both um immortals you can get for free not to mention william which i think has some of the best synergy with the fire dragon also free 
all three of these options are free they're all in the front row when it comes to the back row you have ashoka who has one of the highest probabilities of showing up in the market and in uh you know in in philosopher's stone summons so he's much easier to get than many other uh, immortals like for example you know the great he's just a little bit more rare that's just how it is okay so um you've got great back row and then for the last slot you're eventually going to be able to get empress Wu, who you can also get for free by doing uh really well in the contention of lords so where is she here boom there she is so even a free-to-play player can get her and she just deals insane amounts of damage which is crazy until you get her you can substitute her for somebody like gilgamesh or med b i think those are really solid back row that deal a ton of damage all of which are free so those are my recommendations if you're a free-to-play player or even a really low spender if you are a low spender to mid spender i would say that earth is a really good option followed by lightning and possibly both depending on how how long you continue to spend in the game the reason that earth is in this category is because you have to get the daily bundles for alexander and you do need charles the great i think these are just exceptional front row um compared to like leonidas and some of the other options they're just so good okay they're so good uh and both of these you primarily get from pur purchases i know that there's been there's been a couple ways that you can get like alex and attila and those guys um without making the purchase which is um, incredible i'm very happy about that for free-to-play players but you do really want charles and of course zenobia okay zenobia you get from the vip bundles so um those are things that i think you really want to focus on and because of that you sort of have to spend a little bit to get the max value out of earth following that is also lightning now lightning isn't as bad because you do get Esong for free you get Richard for free and you get Peter the Great for free and this lightning build doesn't use El Cid uh, most players it seems don't use El Cid uh who is the daily bundle for lightning so that's good um it actually means lightning is a little bit cheaper than earth for if you want to look at it in that way uh, you just have to get lucky with getting like Peter and and these guys from summons but regardless uh the only thing you have to worry about mostly for lightning is Genghis Khan he falls into the same bundle uh as you know as Charles Martel and so you really have to buy that hundred dollar bundle just to unlock him and then you have to get him over time from the market or you have to continue buying those bundles and so um while lightning is extremely powerful um you do have to spend to sort of perform well with them and that's why you have to be a lower mid spender in the game to focus on this in my opinion finally we have wind shadow and holy those are the last three and I think those are the ones that if you're like a mega whale you can start to focus on them uh wind primarily because you do have Baldwin who you would likely want to use in your win army um but on top of that uh, getting the crystals for the wind dragon come from the insignia shop here in the arena so it's a very slow grind to get these wind dragon crystals um and that's the biggest problem with with the wind march is that you know getting those wind crystals is crazy um and in order to get them as much as possible you're going to want to be gemming these item purchases for the arena tickets you're going to want to be able to perform as best as possible in the arena meaning you have to already be really strong so you can get those victories you get those uh, a ton of insignia every single day and that's why wind is kind of difficult because you have to actually perform really well on top of a slower dragon progression on top of needing needing baldwin uh and i just don't think that it's better than lightning or earth really anyway so that's that uh finally we have holy and uh and shadow which uh, those are obvious like for obvious reasons shadow like to even get the dragon for shadow you have to finish vip like that that is how you get the shadow dragon right you get shadow dragon uh egg at vip 15 by buying the bundle so it's not even like it's free at vip 15 you gotta buy that bundle as well um holy dragon egg you can also purchase by uh reaching vip 15 so yeah and you it's it, it this you get from spending vip points right so that's the deal with those guys it takes a very long time to get max vip especially if you're not a big spender and then on top of that in order to get the best immortals for those compositions you have to do things like theo's roulette right which is just a generally something that requires more bundle purchases so that's sort of what i would focus on if you're a free-to-play player don't start going all in on shadow immortals because it's just gonna take so long and you're not even gonna have the right dragon and it's just better to focus on the immortals that you have easier access to and you're gonna be stronger that way even though technically shadow is better 
anyway guys hopefully you found this video entertaining or informative or anything like that and if you did make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other infinity kingdom players might see it remember you can still join us in the revival of cities event in server 136 download link is down below and finally if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload an infinity kingdom video anyway guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace